day and welcome to another episode of our series in Christology, which is the biblical person and work of Christ. This is the equipping ministry of the Trinitarian all for Jesus Ecclesia of the Lord God. We are now on the second part of our subject, which is the singular, personal, directly self-revealing aim, goal, and destiny of everyone, the Lord Jesus Christ. It is part of the eternal covenant of the triune God, that God the Son, Jesus Christ, be the direct, exclusive, and permanent aim, object, and focal point of everyone's entire commitment. The Apostle Paul testified of this in his second letter to Timothy, saying, For this reason, I also suffer these things. Nevertheless, I am not ashamed, for I know whom I have believed, and I am persuaded that he is able to keep that which I have committed to him against that day. And in Galatians 2.20, he said, I am crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live. Yet not I, but Christ lives in me. And that life I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. For other references, please read Ephesians 1, 3 to 23 and Colossians 1, 13 to 21. Before God predestined us, he foreknew us with respect to our self-determination or free will. Romans 8, 29, For whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. So everyone should be committed and conformed to the image of the Son of God, Jesus Christ, and be totally devoted to him. Because according to 1 Corinthians 16.22, If any man love not the Lord Jesus Christ, he is anathema, or a curse. And Jesus also said in Matthew 12.30, That he who is not with me is against me. And he who does not gather with me scatters. The true people of God are not only united, Matthew 12.30, and continually looking unto Jesus, Hebrews 12, 2, conforming and uh, calling upon Him, Romans 8, 29, 1 Corinthians 1, 2. But they are also gathering together in His name, Matthew 18, 20, bowing their knees at the name of Jesus, Philippians 2, 9 to 11. And confessing and giving thanks to his name, Hebrews 13, 15. All these are given by God the Father, who is only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and directed by God the Holy Spirit into the same Lord Jesus. Please read Hebrews chapters 4, uh, I mean chapter 3 and 4. In John 16, 7 to 15. And it is Jesus Christ who called Matthew 11, 28, John 10, 25 to 28, Ransom, 1 Timothy 2, 5 and 6, Redeemed and Purchased, Acts 20, 28, Purified, Sanctified and Kept what the Father gave Him to be His own. Titus 2, 13 to 14. In the third heaven, where Jesus is enthroned with the Father, Hebrews 1, 3, all commitments, devotions, worship, prayers, communications to God are directly and exclusively and permanently addressed to Jesus Christ because He is not only the Lord who created all things, but he is also standing in the midst of the throne in heaven to carry out his function as the Lamb, the infinitely acceptable offering to God. Revelations 5, 6 to 12. 
As the eternal high priest who lives forever, Hebrews 725, his adherents can only come to God the Father by Him, Jesus Christ, the overall mediator, eternal high priest, and functioning as all in all. During the millennium, which is the visible and personal reign of Christ in Jerusalem on the planet Earth, it is revealed that the king referred to here is Jesus Christ, who is the Lord of hosts. During this age on the planet Earth, all the people of God will address their all for Jesus Christ directly, exclusively, and permanently, and not to the Father, nor the Holy Spirit. Still, Revelations 20, 1 to 6. At the grand finale, in the new heavens, in the new earth, which he will make, shall remain before him, so shall our descendants and our name remain. And it shall come to pass that from new moon to new moon, and from Sabbath to Sabbath, all flesh shall come to worship him. Isaiah 66, 22 to 23. In Revelations 21, 1 to 18, Jesus Christ, the second person of the triune God, who made all things new, after the old heavens and the old earth have passed away, is the Alpha and the Omega, the Lord Jesus Christ himself, the finisher or fulfiller or consummator of all things. He was twelve too. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the throne of God. And in the new heavens and the new earth, day and night will be superseded or replaced by the infinite, glorious, and personal life of the Lamb, Jesus Christ, the Almighty Lord God, the Son, incarnate, who is functioning as all in all. All his adherents and his servants shall behold his glory. John 17, 24 and John 14, 1, 2, 3. So in all the world, both in the old and new heavens and earth and throughout eternity, Jesus Christ is the rightful object, focal point or point of reference of all the creatures submission, commitment, subjection, conformities, and prayers, even in his incarnation and perfect manhood, all to the glory of God the Father. That ends part two of our lesson for today, which is a singular, personal, directly self-revealing aim and goal of everyone in all of reality, the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for listening, and may the Lord God richly bless you.